That is what we typically think about sarcopenia. I don't actually believe that, it be, that it's a disease of aging. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a disease of inactivity. Is there a period of time where you actually really have to build up your reserves of, yeah. of muscle health? And around what time is that? Like, when should people be preparing for tapping into those reserves? I think that this is a critical conversation. You mentioned sarcopenia. So sarcopenia, if we can just define it, is loss of muscle mass and strength. Oftentimes we think about sarcopenia, we've all seen our aging parents, we've all seen you know, older individuals that got smaller. And we're like, dude, what happened to, to Joan over there? That is what we typically think about sarcopenia. I don't actually believe that, it be, that it's a disease of aging. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a disease of inactivity. And it could begin decades before, just like cardiovascular disease, just like Alzheimer's disease. So we now recognize that these diseases of, quote, aging actually begin in our 30s. I don't think sarcopenia is any different. Mm -hmm. it, we know that there is no such thing as an unhealthy sedentary person. There is no such thing, I'm sorry, as a healthy sedentary person. So when you look at the literature and they compare these groups of healthy sedentary mm -hmm. um, to whatever, that in and of itself is a disease model. There's no such thing as a healthy sedentary group. Um, it's such a good point. You know, I feel like your muscle health is as close to a panacea as we have when it comes to health span because you know, I would say it's up there with sleep because it's so essential to, um, you know, this, this idea of activities of daily living. Like my bar is so much higher in terms of what I want my health span to look like. And I want, I want to have the best glucose disposal that I can possibly have. And I want that for, you know, every single patient I take care of. And that's where movement is just so essential. Critical critical because we know that skeletal muscle is responsible for 80 plus percent of glucose disposal. Mm -hmm. When we care about diabetes, we care about these things of metabolic dysregulation, you, we have to look at skeletal muscle as the primary point. 